Hi everyone, welcome to Joyce Knowledge. In this video, we are going to talk about positive thinking skills. Every human being, regardless of his or her origins, have been endowed with the marvelous and mysterious apparatus called the mind. It works for 24 hours a day, producing conditions, events and experiences in each of our lives. These conditions are always taking shape in the mind and it is busy weaving for tomorrow depending upon the thoughts that are entertained in the mind. What is positive thinking? The mind that thinks our thoughts is a pretty special place. The thoughts are the tools with which the mind works and it can shape the destiny of human beings. The experiences in the outer world only reveal what is lurking in the secret chambers of the mind. Therefore, experiences are the reflection of thoughts coming from the mind. Our circumstances are merely a looking glass, a mirror of reflection. But in our daily life, without realizing what we are doing, we often try to break the mirror. For example, if you are not happy with your income, you start criticizing your employer, job, your upbringing and everybody else for your shortcomings. You criticize your boss who makes more money. They are not going to change your conditions which are merely reflecting your thoughts. To change the conditions, you have to change the causes, your thoughts. Scientifically speaking, it is the inner world of the thoughts that get themselves translated into the outer world of events, conditions and experience. The loftier the thoughts we entertain, the nobler will be our experiences in life. How to eliminate negative thinking? The first important thing to do in combating negative thoughts is to watch every word we utter. Every negative word we say or negative speech we produce blocks the flow of positive thinking and positive words. Infinite wisdom can flow only through positive thoughts. When you constantly watch the words, the outcome of thoughts you are cultivating a positive consciousness or awareness which in turn will facilitate the flow of infinite power towards you. Our thoughts become the vehicle for the infinite intelligence to flow without any resistance. Positive self-talk. Talk positive things and expect only positive things to happen around you. Positive self-talk is a time-tested technique for the elimination of negative speech. Prayer is one form of a positive self-talk. Every pay prayer is in fact a positive self-talk. The lower self-talking to the higher self. It consists of positive attributes and praise of the Almighty. When you are praying, saturating the mind with the positive attributes or qualities of the Divine on a daily basis, there will be no room for growth of negative thoughts. Prayer is the oldest and most effective technique for the elimination of negative speech. What is prayer? P refers to positive affirmations or refers to repetition. A refers to attitude, E Y for yield, E for emotions and R for rebirth. Let's examine each of these concepts. Now positive affirmations. We start the prayer with the positive affirmations like the thousand attributes or qualities of God such as mercy, compassion, love and forgiveness. These positive affirmations form the basis of a thorough mental cleansing of a negative tendencies in thought word and deeds. R stands for repetition. Repetition is the mother of perfection. When you repeat positive affirmations, you are saturating the subconscious mind with the positive tendencies which in turn will be translated into their material equivalent. Repetition is a double-edged sword means it works on positive as well as a negative side. If we repeat thoughts of the negative natural saturating the subconscious mind, it will produce a negative experience bringing your command to its true conclusion. E stands for attitude. A prayerful attitude is always one of receipt. The devotee always pray for happiness and peace with a positive attitude and thereby facilitates the timely realization of the objects of prayer. 
the stronger the attitude of receipt, the more one will see crystal clear the objects of prayer before one's mind. Y stands for yield. During the prayer time, the mind of the devotee or the participant yields to the higher power, the supreme self or the omnipotent. Such total surrender or yielding is not possible until the person has recognized the presence of such a power in the universe. When any person recognizes such higher self and yields to that higher self naturally, he will transform himself at least partially. So that higher will be consciousness. E stands for emotion. Emotion is the fuel that drives people to a state of higher consciousness. We see people weep and cry during prayer with tears profusely trickling down their cheeks. The power of the spoken word is derived from the emotion with which it is said. An emotionally charged word is sharper and it will come back with the result intended either knowingly or unknowingly. R stands for rebirth. After a person has gone through the practice of prayer, the art of communicating to the subconscious mind, he or she becomes so relaxed and contented as if being reborn. The mental state has been transformed from tends to relax during prayer. The best way to forget one's worries or anxieties is to participate in any kind of prayer. It will help to calm the mind and that calmness by repetition becomes a habit and that slowly by practice will be woven into one's character. Be an optimist. Always focus on the positive side in your life. When you spend much time in improving yourself, you don't have the time to criticize others. Forget the mistakes of the past and see the opportunities for future achievements. Think only of the best, work only for the best and expect only the best. Build a positive self-esteem. Self-esteem is the way we feel about ourselves. When we feel good within us, the whole world seems to be nice and our performance naturally flares up. Always estimate yourself according to your achievements and we should not have unrealistic aspirations which leads to low self-esteem, thereby making our thinking to be negative. Give positive strokes. When you think positively, give positive strokes to the work which you have successfully undertaken. Also, compliment yourself at each stage of your work and this will enhance your positive thinking by providing motivation towards your goal. Try to give positive strokes to others too. Always have positive thinkers as friends. When you have encouraging friends, even the most Herculean task appears very light for you. And when you have discouraging friends, even a very light task appears difficult for you. The words we speak represent our innermost thoughts lurking in the secret chambers of our mysterious mind. When you speak negatively, you create a negative world and when you speak positively, you create a positive world. Positive thinkers pass on positive vibrations to others and negative thinkers pass on neg negative vibrations to others. So always be positive. If this video is useful, please like, share, comment and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.